Let's add a few pages to our PSD design. Now, before we add pages, uh, what we want to do is basically close our folder so that we can get a better idea of our content structure. Now you'll see that what we have is our general header, our content, and our footer. What we want to do is add pages to our actual content itself because we're going to reuse our header and our footer. And let's just take a look at exactly where these are positioned. So you can see our footer. This is our actual footer area. Let's just clear all the guides. And then if we take a look at our header, you'll see that this is our actual header area. So now, when adding pages, what we want to do is, basically, there are two steps that we can use. If you're going to have static pages, then what you can do is you can just basically add it directly to the folder. Actually, just take a look at the content structure really quick. You'll see that we have one section. This is our actual index page. What you can do is add page directly to the content folder. But what we recommend is that you actually create a group. So what you can do is select the content folder and then press Control and G and what that will do is group that folder. Add the page name that you added to the content folder previously to that group. And let's call this index page. Now what this will do is create a page called index, well the actual name of the Photoshop document and add the content from those folders to the actual page itself. So now let's per se we want to create a separate page. Let's go and uh, let's create another folder. Let's say we want to create about us. Now if we did this, this is invalid. Pages themselves they are folders. They're, they're not actual files so they can't have extensions. Now we do need content in each page and if we were to hide this this would be the actual page layout of the about us page now let's say what we wanted to do was uh, reuse possibly the header background let's just drag that to the about us page just to ensure it has some content so you'll see that if we were to hide this this is our actual about us page and let's change the size of the header we might not want it that large let's reuse uh, possibly the title. Now to copy what you can do is just hold alt and drag and it'll basically just copy that layer. And let's just change the text on that layer itself. Let's go ahead and let's add another contact page. Let's just hide the about us. And let's copy the content from Bodus page. Now, one thing I do want to note uh, just actually, let's change the text first. Let's actually change some of the titles. This is just better layer naming convention. Now you'll note in our index page we do have a specific folder structure. What we should do is actually try to copy that structure. This will be required if you want to create responsive pages or dynamic pages. So what we can simply do is we can just select both the layers in our folder. Let's group them once and let's call it section 1. This is just to keep it consistent. Let's group it again and let's call it content. Now remember to group you can just press Control and G. Let's do the same thing to our our contact us page. So we can just select both the layers, group it once. Section one, let's group it again. Content. 
Now this is just to keep a consistent fold st folder structure. If we had continuous content, and you'll note uh, when we create individual sections of the pages, uh, you'll see exactly how that renders. But if we go ahead and re-export this, you'll note that it will create each individual page. So let's take a look. Remember, you must enable page tags in your export for this to work. Now, once complete, what we can do is we can actually take a look at each individual page that it creates. So we can go to our HTML5 folder, and you'll see that it created a page for each one of the pages that we denoted in our actual Photoshop file. So you can see here, contact, about us, and index. And these are referenced from our pages. Now, you'll note that index actually was named to the name of our actual PSD document. Now if we take a look at each page itself, so this is our index page. No, we didn't enable layer effects. We should have. This is our about us page. And this is our contact us page. 